Today we're gonna take this two drawer dresser, we're gonna put a base coat on it, and then we're gonna be finger painting some flowers. How you feel about finger painting, Zeb? I'm excited, cause then I don't have to wash a brush, right? I usually get paint on my hands anyway. So this is a small two drawer like chest type dresser and we have this very little eight ounce of DIY paint. It's about, can you see, half full? Um, I'm hoping it's enough, we'll see. And we've got two paint pixie brushes, one for me and one for Zep. We're gonna get this base coat on here. We're using faded burlap from DIY paint. You can pick it up at jamierayvintage.com kind of like the brown grayish type color. It's very neutral. Yeah, it's very neutral and it's gonna be the perfect backdrop to our flowers, which are gonna have some color on them. Do you have more if we don't have enough? Mm, no. <laughs> I mean, I might have some at the shop. I can look. I think it, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, it's covering pretty, pretty well. Yeah. Nothing a heavy distress. Nothing a heavy distress can't. Cover. A heavy distress. Dis we're gonna distress it. <laughs> so our base coat is dry. We wound up doing two coats and using just over a full sample. So if I was gonna do something like this, I would definitely plan on ordering a pint, especially because we're gonna be finger painting. So if you get anything you don't like, you can just wipe it off and then paint right over the top. I've done this exactly one time before, and you can see by my fingers, it was like two minutes ago. So I kind of have an idea of what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you the colors. We've got Fancy Farm Girl, Kissing Booth, Queen Bee, Petticoat Pink, and Farm Fresh. All right, so I'm gonna wet this just so that way I've got a little bit of movement in my paint. It just reactivates the DIY paint. And you can buy all this paint at jamierayvintage.com. Okay, so I've got my green on here. And I'm just gonna kinda just layer in the, the leaves. I want it heavier down here on the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna take this Farm Fresh on my finger and pull some over here, and then some of the, the other green, because leaves are hardly ever the same color green. So I'm gonna add a little bit of depth, just mixing these two up. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back, and just kinda go over the top of these, maybe. Just add a, the ever so slightly different color of green to them. These are still wet because I sprayed them with my squirt bottle, so it kind of helps that paint to mix. All right, so I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna make some stems. I'm just gonna take the damp paint and pull it down. Okay, I've got petticoat pink and I'm gonna come in with a new kind of semi-clean finger and I'm just gonna add some flowers in here. And I'm not, I'm not gonna fill every one because I'm gonna come in with this, some different colors in a minute. Now I'm gonna add some dimension, and I'm gonna come over here with my pink and my kissing, so I've got my petticoat pink and my kissing booth, and I'm come back to a different finger. <laughs> and I'm just gonna layer that in. Just give it a little bit of shading on one side and maybe bring some different colors in there.
So I'm going to take this Farm Fresh and come mix this into this pink and hopefully get a purple shade. We'll see, maybe we need some more of that. There's more of that. So that's like a little darker, deeper purple shade. Take my little pinky and I'm just gonna add some lighter flowers that maybe are in the background. I spray this with water and that kind of is helping my paint not be quite so thick when I put this purple on. I'm gonna add some, some leaves so this isn't floating around over here. So all I'm doing right now is I'm coming back and I'm adding some green and some purple mixed together. So just adding some more depth and filling in the background. So I've got Farm Fresh, Petticoat Pink, and Kissing Booth along with Fancy Farm Girl all kind of mixed up. You kind of play with it and you can just figure out the colors that you like. Alright, I'm going to come back and just hit it again with some water to try to soften up the lines and blend it a little. And then this side is done and I'm going to carry this over onto over here. But I'm just going to do it on the top so it's not completely wonky and then I might carry it on to here. So I'm going to come back over here, I'm going to lay in some more, layer in some more colors. I've got my queen bee, I'm kind of mixing that into the mix, and I'm just going to dab, dab, dab. That's all I'm doing is just dabbing. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna come in and give it a distress. I'll probably actually use the orbital except for over the top of the flowers. That I'm gonna hand distress because I don't wanna take too much off. Now we're gonna distress it. I'm gonna use my orbital sander with 220 sandpaper and I'm gonna go over the whole piece except for where the flowers are. I'm probably gonna hit that with a sanding block. I may try to lightly go over it to smooth it out, but I just wanna be careful that I'm not taking the flowers completely off. All right, so I'm gonna take this white wax, it's by DIY, and I'm gonna paint it on here with my Paint Pixie Wax Brush. It's just gonna kinda of soften it and add some depth. And I'm not going everywhere. I'm just kinda of going like around the edges. Just to add an extra dimension and layer. And it will kind of get down in the nooks and crannies as well as in the actual grain of the piece, which is kinda of fun. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this. I'm gonna frame it out, bring it into the flowers, but not all the way across them, and into this detail here, and down, and make sure that it gets down into this. All right, so without letting that white wax dry, I've got clear wax loaded up on my wax brush, and I'm gonna come in the middle and just kind of blur the lines a little bit. really working it in. I'm going, you notice I'm going in circles and then I'm going with the grain. 
Okay, as soon as I'm done with an area, I come back and I'm gonna be pulling this wax like right off of here because I don't want it super, super harsh. So I'm just pulling it off. Especially where the flowers are. All right, so you can see this kind of gives it a great aged French country look. You could switch the white wax that I used for a dark wax if you want something a little bit more moody. Just be careful with dark wax because sometimes it's hard to maneuver. Maybe you do a clear wax, then the dark wax, then some more clear, and you really can get really pretty shading. Once this whole piece is done, I'll let it sit for two hours, then I'll put another coat of clear wax on it, let it sit overnight, then buff it. So initially I was gonna be in on the finger painting, but our styles were so different and Jamie's flowers were so much better than mine that uh, she got to do all the finger painting on this one. You're so sweet to me. My flowers were so much better than yours. They were just different than yours. We wanted the piece to have a cohesive look. So we'll do another piece and we'll let you finger paint the flowers. All right. It's actually... That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> You like to finger paint flowers? I have never, I don't think I've finger painted anything since about fourth grade. Well, you're missing out, although I think I got all the paint off my hands. It's fun to get your fingers in the paint. We took what was a really pretty antique dresser, but added some fun to it, but I still feel like it falls like in the neutral French country because we went with like muted country wildflowers. That's what I'm gonna call them. They look like real flowers if you're standing across the room, and even up close, they just kind of look muddled but I think it turned out awesome. And what you didn't see before we painted this is I did some major repairs on these drawers. They had big splits and cracks, I had to glue them. So the dresser needed something to dress it up a little bit. Yeah, it's got nice straight lines. It still has a crack over on this one side that you didn't see, or maybe, you, yeah, you did see it when I did the white wax. Anyways, I love the white wax. I think that it really makes it pop and gives it a French country look. It's kind of my go-to wax. I know you guys have seen me use white wax over and over again, but it really fits my style. Here's a list of what I've used. I started out with DIY paint and faded burlap. So the flowers were done with Fancy Farm Girl, Farm Fresh, Queen Bee, Kissing Booth, and Petticoat Pink. We finished it with DIY White Wax and DIY Clear Wax. All the brushes that we used today were Paint Pixie. All of those items can be purchased at jamierayvintage.com. Be sure to comment below with any questions you have about finger painting on your furniture. There's lots of really fun looks that you can get and a unique look. I think everybody's is gonna be just a little bit different. All right, so the ticket, at least to these kind of flowers, is the dab, right? Like, not this dab, but this no. dab. <laughs> where's, where's Jack? He has a good dab. <laughs> just dabbing with your finger. And you just keep dabbing and keep layering and squirting till you get what you like. And worst thing that happens is if you don't like it, you can just wipe it off, repaint it, and start over, which is exactly what I did on the side of this when I did it the first time. Yeah, it may or may not have completely been wiped out. <laughs> Be sure to share this video with any of your friends that enjoy DIY or a good furniture refinishing project. It really helps us out a lot. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. <laughs>